Hello and welcome back to Tutorial 7 Part 2. Uh, my name is Eamon Killian. Um, I've been going through how to get connected to Softlayer's private IP addresses through the VPN SSL tunnel um, so that you can have entirely encrypted communication between you and the private IP address of your Softlayer virtual machine or indeed bare metal machine um, or your object storage or anything else. Um, the key is that the key for these sets of tutorials is to gain access in an easy way to those private IP addresses. So I've just uh, rebooted my machine and logged on. So if I SSH to uh, the actual private IP address of the machine, I can't get access. And that's fine. So this is a quick refresher. So I'm going to fire up Safari. Now I'm doing this purposefully to show you one of the foibles that I've noticed in working through this. So I'm going to log on and set up our VPN connection. We'll continue. There it is and we're logged on. Super. So that's excellent and we can gain access now. Lovely and we're on our server. Wonderful. So everything working really well. But like I said, the foibles. I, I really don't want to have to log on, start software, uh, sorry, start um, Safari, go to the VPN, log on to the VPN, wait for it to click in, and when it's running, then I can finally get access. You know, there's a lot of steps there I'd prefer not to have to go through. So wouldn't it be nice if I could have an automated way of kicking off a VPN tunnel, because this Mac here is my systems op or dev op device, systems admin machine. I'd like that tunnel to be kicked off every time I log in. Um, and to do that, you can download the Mac OS standalone VPN client, which will do exactly that. It will give us the ability to just kick this thing off. So click on the link. You'll see the download starting here. I've opened up a little window up here so we can actually see it. And there we go. So we have the download. Now in that directory, we have all the files necessary to install this. So I'm going to go back to my root, then I'm going to go to downloads. There it is. I'll cd into array. And now I'm going to install this. But before I do that, I'm just going to go back here and log out. So I'm now no longer on the software. Um, the software actual uh, VPN. Hopefully we can prove that by trying to SSH in again. That's what I expect to see. I get nothing. It's been disconnected. We're out of there. Good. So I'm now also going to kill that. And we're going to install the standalone client. So let's do, uh, you've got to do this as root. So, just going to install it. Now, I noticed this before because obviously I've been practicing this. Um, there's a little error in here around the upgrade, but it doesn't actually seem to worry the implementation itself. So, we're going to ignore that for the moment. I'm going to go to Finder now and see whether it's actually arrived yet and it hasn't arrived into my finder but I do have an array SSL so let's fire that up okay so here's our array networks SSL VPN there's no connections whatsoever if I go back here, we've seen I can't get access. So now let's add a profile. 
and the profile name I'll just call a test for now the VPN is AMS01 software.com leave this blank I'll show you in a second if you put anything in here it uh, blows it um, username is your software username and your software VPN password that you set up put that in twice the first time I did this I went searching for a certificate I clicked on the search and you know don't bother you don't need anything at all just save that and hopefully now once we connect we are connected and there you go so without starting the browser we're in there let's just doubly prove that by uh, quitting out of Safari um, we still have our connection excellent so we're all in so that's really handy now you can also in here um, set up the preferences for this to auto connect on launch and auto reconnect if it's um, the connections lost so I'm gonna give it a 10 second timeout um, zero here for infinite save that so I'm going to disconnect just temporarily and then I'm going to reconnect, make sure my profile is working fine for us. And it is. This has blown on me. So I will close that and open up another terminal. Just bring this in here. So there we go, we have access to uh, the uh, private IP address through the SSL VPN tunnel and it's connecting fine, lovely. So now the last piece of the jigsaw is to actually set this up so that every time I log in this actual application starts from my, um, from you know is activated from my login. So I'm just going to disconnect for now. Again, I should have disconnected that. I'll kill that. And I'm actually going to close the program. So I've just reset the screen. Um, so this is as if I've just brand new logged in. Um, there's nothing really running. I think I've got mail. Um, nothing really running at all. I've left the folder over here so we can see where things are. And, you know, we know that the um VPN connection is down that's exactly what we'd expect so that's fine what I'm going to do is move the array program that we just configured into applications so that'll install it within applications and now I'm going to actually go up here and go to sit whoops go to system preferences I'm going to go to users and groups and here's my admin account Eamon Killian I'm going to go to login items and I'm going to add a login item so if I now go to applications I'm going to add this so there it is these items will open automatically when you log in so we've already configured it that once it's open it will then connect so I'm going to log off now um, and hopefully when we log in, so this video unfortunately will have to end, when we log in hopefully it will be running. So I'm going to do that now. straight back in and I've logged in again and there it is it's fired up straight away the array networks SSL VPN um, and the minute we logged in 
it fired it off and then because I'd set it also to connect automatically it also got connected so now we can go to our terminal and SSH in at root and we're in so that brings to a close tutorial 7 um, I hope this has been useful so it's a little bit more fiddly than um, at first you might think it would be but once it's there I now have my environment my DevOps systems admin environment logging me in automatically to my VPN and I can now consistently use whether it's object storage virtual machines bare metal machines I can now consistently use the actual um, software private IP addresses and the private network so I can work out of bounds without impacting my uh, my customers on the public network side my name is Eamon Killian. I really hope this has been useful. Thanks very, very much.